Grüß mit dran, Gregory von Lebestag hier. Jocko Willink is a retired US Navy officer who served in the Navy SEALs. Jocko is heavy into kettlebell training. He recently showed a fellow soldier how to train on a ship where there's not a lot of space. I've compiled a list of his exercises he does on the regular and transferred them to an exclusive kettlebell workout. Exercise number one is the kettlebell burpee. Whenever we combine strength and cardio, we engage in concurrent type of training. If we want the best of both worlds, we can use a 50-50 approach. Don't go too fast and don't go too light. Jump down into a burpee and when you come back up, grab both kettlebells and then you engage in a deadlift. Breathe while using IAP. This type of exercise can also be done with a single kettlebell. Exercise number two is Renegades, a great substitute for the pull-up which Jocko recommends. Start in a sprawl position, keep your abdominals tight, breathe in, horizontally roll one kettlebell and breathe out and then you're switching sides. If you only have one kettlebell, do the bent over row instead. Exercise number three is the atomic push-up. This exercise has quickly become one of my favorites. Place both feet up on the kettlebell, breathe in, engage in a push-up, and breathe out when you're back up. Exercise number four, the almighty goblet squat. Bring the kettlebell into the goblet position, breathe in through the nose, brace, go down into a squat, press your elbows into your inner thighs, keep your back straight, come back up, and breathe out. Exercise number five is the kettlebell swing. We use the hand-to-hand -hand hybrid version. Pull the kettlebell into the back swing with one arm, connect your arm with your body, use the power of your hips to push the kettlebell to chest level. Now you're switching hands and when it drops, use your hips to absorb the kettlebell into the backswing. Breathe in in the backswing and breathe out when the kettlebell reaches chest level. Exercise number six is the kettlebell snatch, the king of the kettlebell exercises and it gives you a lot of bang for your buck. The same principle applies as in the swing, yet you finish in the top fixation overhead. This exercise requires a lot of technique. Jaco is using a minimalist type of approach when it comes to his workouts. He combines two exercises and does a ladder principle. Exercise A is the swing with 50 reps. Exercise B is the renegade with 25 reps. Exercises are done unbroken. He then descends into 40, 20, 30, 15, and 22. Let's spice up his routine with a second workout. We'll use the other three exercises in a ladder principle as well. Exercise A is the kettlebell burpee with 25 reps. Exercise B is the atomic push-up with 20 reps. And exercise C is the goblet squat with 15 reps. Exercises are done unbroken, and we can then descend into 20, 15, 10, and 15, 10, 5. Let's use the king of the kettlebell exercises to snatch as a final conditioning workout. You start with 30 seconds per side, rest enough and do four rounds. Once your technique is safe, jump up to one, one and a half and two minutes per side and do two rounds. Once you've really mastered your kettlebell snatch technique, we do a kettlebell sport competition set. It's easy and simple to understand, yet it is a beast of a workout. 10 minutes snatch with five minutes per side. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, like it and consider subscribing. Give Jocko's workout a shot and let me know down in the comments how you like it. If you're looking for kettlebell courses that can help you lose weight, build muscle and improve your kettlebell technique, then check out the Leberstock Academy. Let us help you discover a new perspective on kettlebell training, making it simple and easy for you to understand. Join the waiting list of your desired course now and secure your spot when it's open for enrollment. Link is in the description.